Crew Brothers Ultimate Movie Theater Smoothie, scene one, take one. Ultimate movie theater smoothie. And we were at the movies recently, and uh, Nick was looking at the concession stands. And you know, we should do one of our wild and crazy uh, blender videos with all the concession foods. So we thought, oh, that'd be interesting. Whether it's going to be tasty though is a whole other thing. I think this is going to get gross pretty quick. So uh, without further ado, let's start putting this thing together. Raisinets, Skittles. Might as well get the popcorn in there right away. Uh, though I don't want to put too much in. <laughs> it's gonna be a challenge just getting all these items in there. Juji fruits. Butterfinger bites. All right, so while we're putting these in, uh, what can you tell us about movie theaters and movies? Uh, the first movie theater opened up in, up in uh, 1905 in Pittsburgh. And the first movie ever made was The Horse in Motion in 1878. Was it in 3D? No. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. Sour Patch Kids. Another one I was not a fan of as, as a kid. I haven't had him forever. Do you like him? Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> Nachos. In the, <laughs> the amount of time it took us to get these items and actually start filming. Oh, the nacho cheese is just congealed. All right, three's probably good enough. Oh, dripalicious. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How about something else that's gotten nasty as time has gone on here? A hot dog with the bun. Let's take about half of that. It's nice, cold, and pliable. Walt Disney has the most Academy Awards. Swedish Fish. Not the one ice cream item, uh, Nestle Dibs Crunch. Dibs Crunch? Cookie dough bites. Mike and Ike candies. Junior mints. Pretzel bites with more fake nacho cheese. Oh yeah. Ugh. There's about 65,000 3D screens worldwide. Yeah, Nick and I, I, I especially me, myself, I've been a movie fanatic forever. And uh, so in the comments section, post what is your favorite movie of all time or one of your favorite movies of all time. One thing I've discovered with movies is there's just more and more amazing ones to, to uh, experience. As the years go by, I'm always amazed how many great films are out there. Um, some of my favorites include uh, City Lights, uh, their old Charlie Chaplin film from the 30s. And um, I like uh, Midnight Cowboy is a really good film. Um, there's too many to name though. I mean, there's just so many great uh, films and directors. Martin Scorsese, um, Fellini, Igmar Bergman, Akira Kurosawa. I, I love a lot of those uh, directors. Um, can't get enough of film. So I would love to hear from you in the comments section, top 10 of all time or your top five and I uh, really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite? One of your favorite films? Uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, that's a great one too. Goobers. Lifesaver gummies. Good and plenty. <laughs> Milk duds. M and M's. Hot tamales. About 1.3 billion movie tickets are sold every year. I don't really like hot tamales. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, considering we're into spicy foods. Spicy I, candies, yeah. I don't know. I don't like the cinnamon and spice combination. Nerds. Comment section, go crazy. <laughs> Twizzlers. Bunch of crunch. Sweet Tart Mini Chewy. Oh. Whoppers. 
Jolly Rancher gummies. <laughs> Mini donuts. Which they cooked up for us at the movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that one will Maybe blend. Maybe one more. <laughs> oh. There we go. All right, how about some cotton candy? <laughs> I've never been a fan of cotton candy either. Do you? Do you like it? Um, I don't mind it. Yeah, it's just always. Eesh. Definitely not one of my favorites though. Let's just jam that in there, nice. Dots. Time to put in some regular Pepsi for the base. Oh yeah. <laughs> How much? Oh, it smells just cornucopia of, of sugar and low-grade meat oh. and low-grade <laughs> cheese. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we get. Always cross our fingers that the blender is going to hold up. Full speed on this one. Ultimate movie theater smoothie. All right. Woo! <laughs> Turn the uh, prerequisite brown. Shake to end all shakes. Ooh, that smells awful, actually. Ooh, take a whiff. Oh! Mmm. <laughs> We've had other blender videos where, you know, it'd be all Oreo products or all Reese's products, and uh, be somewhat. Uh, oh, that smell! Oh, yuck. I wonder what is the culprit of the smell. Maybe the hot dog. Yeah, maybe. And the cheese. Yeah, the nacho cheese. What else would give it that rancid? It's got a. How would you describe it? Oh, almost has a little bit of a dumpster smell. Yeah. Like a fast food dumpster smell. Yeah, we're not stalling. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Such a bizarre mix of all kinds of flavors. Really hard to place any one thing. I talked, caught a little bit of hot tamales. In my opinion, this tastes a lot like the Hershey milkshake, but a bit more of a disgusting twist to it. Yeah. It's got some. Some chewy, mysterious stuff in there. But it still smells five times worse than what it tastes like. Yeah, the smell I can't, the smell I can't figure out. Ooh, it's just like a garbage smell. And I don't, I mean, hot dogs don't smell that bad. It's like <laughs> chemicals we put together that weren't supposed to be together yeah. have had some sort of weird reaction. Hopefully this won't end up like, you know, whatever's making it smell that bad will end up making us sick. But yeah, taste-wise, yeah, it really isn't. Um, it really isn't terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible, but it's still not very good. And uh, would you order this at, a, at your favorite restaurant? No. <laughs> I, I'd much rather order the Hershey milkshake. Yeah, the other. What, what's what's your favorite uh, blender we've done so far? Reese's. Yeah, mine too. Not picking up the popcorn at all. Uh. And I'm not really picking up the hot dog, surprisingly. Like, I, weird chunkiness in this, but uh, can't actually pick up the hot dog. We put quite a bit in. Uh, we just got back from a fun trip where we were in London. And uh, so there's a bonus video you can check out if you go over to the Clifton Chili Club channel, where some of our Chili Head friends that we've known for a couple of years. And uh, they treated us to a, what was that stuff called? Hell Unleashed? Yeah. A fun, <laughs> really hot, uh, hot sauce review slash challenge that we did in our hotel room in London. And uh, that was a lot of fun. It was great meeting those guys. So if you head over to Clifton Chili Club, make sure you give them a, a subscribe. They do a lot of awesome reviews and uh, they do wonderful pepper challenges. And if you've ever seen those, but they're very popular uh, and I, I love watching those. So anyway, 
this was a lot of fun. And uh, Ultimate Movie Theater Smoothie, thanks for watching. We appreciate all the support. It's going to be a fun year. We got a lot of wild stuff coming up, especially in October. So stay tuned. We love you. Mm -hmm. And see you guys later.